Good morning. It is Thursday, December 26th. I had to think about that for a second. Um, today we are officially starting our floors. We have to rip up the carpet and we're going to put down vinyl. Um, I think this is obviously going to take several days, maybe closer to the week. Um, so I'm going to vlog a little bit of it all um, each day and show our progress and then put it all together to make like one long video later on. So um, the first thing we have to do is clean up this living room a little bit so that that back room I can start pulling all the daycare items and bringing them in this room um, so we can at least look at what's going on underneath the carpet because when you walk into that room you step down and then when you go into the bathroom, which is off of there, you step back up. So it's like that room is kind of sunk in a little bit. So um, we're going to eat our breakfast, drink our coffee, and um, then we got to start with cleaning. And in a little bit, I think we'll be heading to either Home Depot or Lowe's. This room is completely empty. No toys, nothing. And same with the closet. We emptied everything out of the closet. Um, we're gonna try to put the floors in here also. It's pretty narrow. So um, out there looks like a disaster. It looks like the daycare threw up in my living room. But um, yeah, there it is, completely empty. So now we're gonna get ready to go shopping. So we just ripped off the carpet and then the, I don't know, padding. And this is what's underneath. But we're not keeping this. We're just gonna put our vinyl on top. Alrighty, we are on our way to, I believe, Home Depot or Lowe's. I don't know. They're on the same street, across the street from each other. Uh, it's very exciting. We have a long list of stuff to get, but this is gonna be a big project, but it's gonna be a lot of fun and it's gonna be awesome when we're all done but it's gonna be a lot of work to get to that finished point. So um, that's where we're headed now, is to the hardware store to get the last of the materials that we need, and then we will be headed home to start our project. You get me hit by a car. to start with the floors uh, and yeah I guess it's time we've got uh, I'd say about 90% of the plywood down in this room but we're gonna have to go get more tomorrow it's 640 so we're just gonna start in that left corner we are gonna take a break to eat but I wanted to show you we have about four rows of floor in so yay progress okay that's my check-in right it is almost 11 p.m. we have a lot not all of the flooring done uh, we ran out of some plywood for right here and for the closet which is not super big deal so um, tomorrow we will get more plywood we have I think we have some for the closet Got a little bit more plywood and then we will get this room all done. So that's it. It's looking pretty good. I love this great color. Day two, back in Home Depot. Gotta get more plywood. plywood. All right, we got our extra or the last of the plywood we need and we are on our way home now. Gotta go put more wood down. All right, so this back room, all the vinyl flooring is done. I'm trying to show you like the entire room if I can. All that, that's just boxes. Um, all over here. I don't, it's hard to do this. And then even the closet, that was kind of a pain. And then all up to the door. 
and the closet. So, that literally took two days because there was so much cutting and laying down plywood and then cutting and cutting more and then with like things like the closet and all around the door edges because there's a bathroom, a closet, and a door. All around like the fr door frames, <clears throat> there was a lot of special cutting and cutting once, cutting twice, cutting a third time to make it fit. So this room took two days. There's um, The quarter rounds are not around yet. I guess we'll do that tomorrow. Um, and then the next thing is to start out in the other room, but Joe says that will go a lot quicker because it's just bit a big space and it'll just go click, 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 click. And there hopefully shouldn't be too many cuts in that room. Um, there's not too many weird things going on, hopefully. So um, that's it for, for day two. And it took two days to do this room. So it's just about done. It just needs the quarter rounds and the threshold. And that's it for today. I think we're done for tonight. We'll see. Time to put in the rounds around the edges. Nice and clean. couple more things I need to get and the bunnies in here and we are getting ready to start ripping up the carpet out here in the big room. Uh, we've got bigger furniture, my two cabinets and the TV entertainment, the couch and the kids table. I'm not sure what we're going to do with that but I think we're going to just start over here first. So that's where we're at now. The first part of this area, the living room, I'm on a boat. is all cl cleared up. I jumped because I like scared me. <laughs> That's where the entertainment was. The TV's still on the wall. The tree's still in the corner. And uh, yeah, we're about to start pulling up this carpet. Oh, look, it's happening right now without me. It is like a little after seven. We have been working so hard all day long. Um, we got a good amount done. The walkway from the other room and then all this. Um, we spent most of the time um, pulling the carpet, picking up nails or staples. Uh, what's this stuff around that holds the carpet down? There's like this wood thing with tons of nails. Nail track. There's like nail track we had to rip up um, and then because we have this banister here it's kind of a messed up situation so Joe had to like kind of cut because um, there's like tile and all sorts of stuff so um, we've been working non-stop I don't know how many hours you think we've been at this Hours. after lunch at least mm -hmm. so at least for maybe six or seven hours so we got this far all the colors all the tiles all the pieces are starting to look the same and we're like where are all the new patterns so I don't know if we're gonna take a break and go get dinner or keep on putting them down but we'll see we did get a lot of good work done so far today we are on day four of floors. So we got um, that part of the living room. So now that it comes this way into this part of the dining room, we're gonna start in this area right now so that we can go long ways from that wall all the way to this wall. So I'm going to start under the counter and start picking up all the staples um, and pulling up the carpet gripper, I don't know what you call that, the wood at the seam to hold the carpet down, and that's what we are working on this morning, um, and it is about 15 minutes to 11, so we're going to get going. Um, it is my birthday today, and I am going to go get all my birthday goodies, and we're going to go out either for lunch or dinner, so at some point we will take a break, but this morning I want to get this started and just see what we can do and how much we can get done before maybe 
this afternoon sometime. All right, just check it in. Show progress. Um, so the banister's back there, so we got all the way out to here. And then we moved the couch over there for now. And under this is the kitchen counter, so we got this going on. And um, that's where the door entry is. So um, that's kind of where we're at now. We're gonna have a break and have lunch because it's almost 120 and we are hungry, but it's really looking good and coming along nice. And uh, we had to take our Christmas tree down. So we just have this half. We're gonna move the cabinet so we can do under there. We excuse the mess. We gotta move the kids table and do under there and then just finish out by the door and then we'll see how it goes. Um, at some point we wanna do the kitchen because the kitchen is wood and this is vinyl. So we'll see, but I want all this done as soon as possible. Um, the big room, um, cause at least the kitchen is done, but it's not the right floor, but we'll just see how it goes. It's raining. So I just wanted to come on and you can hear it. <coughs> um, so we're keeping on working. Um, we're going to keep on working the best we can. Um, I'm about to clear off the kids table that we just been putting a bunch of stuff on so we can rip up that carpet. But I wanted to show you guys the rain. Um, we're doing really good, making good progress. So I gotta clear all that off the kids table and then figure out where I'm gonna move the table because to right here where I'm standing, I don't know how to show you guys, there we go. You can see there's uh, the vinyl flooring. So. We are definitely more than halfway done with this room. It's really just like from where I am to the door. Um, and the goal is to stop at 4.30. And what time is it now? It's 2.45. Um, so probably work another close to two more hours. And then we're going to go out and do my birthday stuff. Um, and that's going to be a separate vlog. Um, so look for that if you want to see uh, my birthday celebration. So yeah, that's what we're going to do now is just work maybe another hour to between one and two hours and then head out uh, and we'll see. I'm sure maybe there'll be time for the kitchen the next couple days. We'll have to just see how it goes. All right, well, we've got all the staples up. We got all the carpet up. There's no more carpeting. There's a little bit, he says we need six more boxes. There's probably, would you say seven more rows? Uh, Approximately. Six, five and a half more rows. Okay, so we got like five to six more rows, about six more boxes, um, and then and all the flooring will be down. Yeah. We're just focusing on the back room, the living room, dining room right now. I don't know if we're going to get to the kitchen. Um, it just kind of depends how the next two days go, but um, not counting today. But by December 31, I want this done so that on January 1, I can relax and enjoy one more day of peace before all the kids come back. So that's where we're at now. Um, we are going to be done for now and go out for my birthday. Like I said, if you want to see my birthday vlog, go find that video. Um, and I will see you later. Day four progress. End of the day. It's 1045. There's a little sliver in between the dining room and kitchen and underneath the counter. But for the most part, this is all done. There's a little bit by the door and then a small piece all down the um, wall that we're going to have to figure out um, and then yeah so this is the dining room area which I use for the daycare kids eating and then we sit here and eat and then the living room that's usually where the couch is and uh, the TV and then um, the walkway into the back room so that's it for day four Day five of floors, we have basically just, it's hard to see, the little bit between the wall and the last row we did along this back wall. It's hard to see because I have all these boxes. Under the counter, there's a little bit between the wall too. 
Uh, also by the banister, let me come over there. There's a very little sliver here that needs to get done and above the first step. And let me take you to the back room. Um, actually, I don't know if I can show you. The closet, I already put stuff in. There's like maybe a couple, maybe a few inches, four inches of that's missing flooring that we're gonna try to finish as well. Then we have to do all the quarter rounds, um, put the baseboards back in. Um, and I think, I think that would be it to finish up the back playroom, the living room, and the dining room for day five. Um, I don't know what our plans are yet as far as the kitchen, so we're just gonna focus on finishing these little bits for now, and I will check back in with you later on when that part is all done. All right, it's about 2.20. We have majority of the edges along the wall. I'll try to show it the best I can all the way down. Um, we finished under the counter. So that's all done to the kitchen. Um, so here's that. There we go. Um, we put up the trim um, on that wall again. Joe and I did that. Joe is finishing the little itty bitty piece that's in my closet, the daycare closet. There's like a smidgen of um, a piece we need. And then we need to go to Home Depot and get like, um, more quarter rounds. Um, what else do we need? We're gonna need to get um, rubber stoppers or things like that so the furniture don't scrape and scratch um, for chairs, for tables, um, basically for all the furniture I guess that's in this room and that room and the kitchen. Um, we did not do the kitchen today. Um, but I just vacuumed a little bit of this area and in a minute Caitlin is gonna help me bring the kids table back over here We're gonna put these two tall cabinets One two back against the wall We're gonna put the entertainment center and the t and the couch back where they go and then we can work on around the banister and that is it as far as up here, so five days to do the back room and this big room. Uh, exhausting, stressful, frustrating, but it's like 95% done and I'm so happy about it. Um, and oh yeah, we're gonna need to get some kind of threshold temporarily for the dining room going into the kitchen. So there's a few little things we need to get here for um, at Home Depot later or tomorrow, but they're not like huge things. Um, that we can not, you know, we can just today be okay without having it, but we will get it done by tomorrow or hopefully, uh, I don't even know what today is, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we'll definitely have this, all the little itty bitty things done by Wednesday uh, that need to have completion. So um, yeah, we're gonna start moving furniture now. All right, the entertainment center is all back. Um, Joe is working on this little sliver right here. There's that little bit, and then that little bit. Um, under the counter is all done. Um, under the kids' table is all done. The cabinets are back, but I don't know if they're, I don't think they're screwed in yet. Um, and then in this room, hi bunnies. Um, he did that little ending piece so that's done and then we're gonna put quarter rounds all around just to uh, finish it off in the closet and quarter rounds behind the door there to finish that off also so um yay progress so after I gotta put all this wonderful stuff back where it belongs cubbies toys everything you can think of, bunnies, um, 
And then I gotta lay out the rug and um, get the couch back where it goes. And progress, progress. The floors are beautiful, I love them. As much of it as a headache and frustrating it was, I love them. All right, everyone, happy New Year's Eve. It is December 31, and we have some errands to run to finish up our flooring. All the vinyl flooring is in. We just have a few little odds and ends and finishing touches um, to do before we put the rooms back to normal. Um, and the daycare space back normal for January 2. I also will be getting more birthday freebies. So this is my birthday freebie video blog part two. And I actually have, I think six places, but one place is closed today. So I think we're gonna go get five more, maybe four more freebies today. So come with us, we're about to get ready to go shopping and get more birthday freebies. <laughs> Alrighty, see you then. Hey, no recording. Oh. This room is back to normal. Just a couple of little things like that doesn't belong here, but that's okay, I'll put it away. Um, the only thing I have to do is lay out the rug that goes in here, but I was sweeping. And um, Joe is working on the quarter rounds for this one quarter corner, um, just so it's finished. And then I would say this room will be 100% done. Yay! And then we gotta move on. Actually, that's not true. We got to deal with the threshold going to the bathroom, but that's not the end of the world. But yes, so after the quarter rounds go down, this room is just about done. All right, yay, the cubbies are back. I just have to relabel. Um, I actually had put it backwards, plus the names were, the fonts were different, so I want them all to match. Um, we put our runner rug. We had to sh stick it under the cubbies a tad. But that should hopefully help it from moving a lot. And I'm so happy that's perfect, a good um, length. Uh, the floors are in everywhere. The trim is in everywhere. The quarter rounds are in the other room. The bunnies are back to their corner, so they're going to keep me up all night. Um, where's my new rug? Oh, here it is. I got to take this outside. I love it. It says welcome, and it's very nautical. So that's my new rug that's going to go a mat that's going to go outside probably tomorrow. And yeah, here I'll show you this room. This room's all done and put back together. The only thing I have to do is put the rug down. And I still have to put the rug down under um, where the couch goes, but we'll probably do that tomorrow. So there's our Roku fish. Yeah, all right. Well, floors are done. I'm so happy. We're gonna have New Year's Eve dinner and that's it for floors. We're completely done. It was a six day project. Oh, I'll show you the kitchen. We did not do the kitchen, but the kitchen floors kind of, well, they match color-wise. So my kitchen's a mess. I'm not showing you anymore. So you can see the threshold. We will get to the kitchen another day, but at least it's all gray, and I'm so happy. So I'm happy. I think Joe's happy. We're done. Okay, so that is it for our um, putting down vinyl floors in our living room, dining room, and the back bedroom which is the playroom um if you like this vlog be sure to give me a thumbs up so i know to make more vlogs i know we didn't show you a lot of like the technical parts and the cutting parts but it was like we just needed to get it done and it was t it's too time consuming setting up the tripod and the camera but yes there was a lot of cutting there was a lot of picking out of staples there was a lot of scraping stuff there was a lot of work that you didn't see like behind the scenes but as well as just laying the floors so it was it was a long six days we worked till like 10 and 11 some of the nights we just kept doing it because we knew we wanted to get it done so I hope you like this video like I said be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want more content like this and that way you don't miss more videos coming your way very soon thanks so much for watching I love you all bye